Hi everyone! It's that time of the year when a lot of people start putting up holiday decorations and different kinds of lights. In this project, we'll assemble and program a unique set of holiday lights used in a cardboard Christmas tree. Of course, you can choose whatever you want to decorate. You can, for example, create a ballerina that has lights on her dress and spins on one leg. At the end of the video, I will show you where to find more inspiration and different examples what you can do with these same components. All the electronic components needed for this project you can find in the Arduino starter kit. We need LEDs, two 20 ohm resistors and jumper wires. Today, we're creating something that is not included in the project book. You will also need some crafting materials such as cardboard, scissors, some decorative tape and for example, glue. I will use electrical tape to make sure everything stays on their place. But before that, I want to connect everything to my Arduino board and test the code. When the project is working as intended, we can take a cardboard piece and tape it on the back side of the tree so you don't see the wires. We can also use a small box that you can have, for example, multiple trees, or you can hide your Arduino board inside of it. To power it without the computer, you can use a battery and a battery snap. Let's start with the crafting materials. I have already cut out two identical pieces of cardboard and taped green paper on top of this one. Here you can add holes where you want to have the lights. I'm going to have six lights in my tree and I have made four holes here already. From each hole, I put through an LED. To make it easier for us, I have the long leg always on the right side and the short leg pointing down. Then, to connect these legs, we use jumper wires. You can use the ones that come with the starter kit, or if you have these female to male ones, you can use them, or you can use a copper wire or copper tape. I have brown, black, and gray jumper wires for the ground to be connected to the short legs. And then I will use white for the bottom two LEDs, purple for the middle ones, and red for the top ones to make it easier when we connect them to the Arduino board. I have connected six resistors and six short jumper wires here already. I use the digital pins 3 to 8 to connect my LEDs. And once again, I have always two with the same color. These resistors are all connected to the ground. Now I just simply add the black, brown and gray wires to the ground and the other ones to the digital pins. The white jumper wires I have on the tree are for the bottom LEDs. So they connect to these two white ones that are for pin 3 and 4. Since I didn't have short purple and red ones, I'm using greens and blues. As you know, the color of the wires doesn't matter. It is just to make it easier for us to assemble everything correctly. Once we are done with this, we can upload the code. For the code, I have used the basic Plink example, but then added more LEDs and play with how they're light up. First, in the setup, we use a for loop to set some pins as outputs. Instead of giving them unique names and typing out the pin mode function for each one, you can use a for loop to go through them all quickly. This is a handy trick if you have a large number of similar things you wish to iterate through in a program. For example, now I'm using six LEDs, but you might use 24 in your project. Then in the loop, I first trigger the bottom LEDs to light up and wait for a half a millisecond. Then the same for the middle and top LEDs. Then each LED turns off and on, and lastly, they all turn off before the loop starts again. Visit the Arduino Project Hub for inspiration and tutorials. From the categories, you can choose lights and LEDs, or search for Christmas projects. Have a great time designing and creating your own projects, and remember to share them on social media. We would love to see them. Bye!